Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So basically in the last video, we just analyze, we just visualize, okay, how much people in the survey are participating as a male or as a female, how much people uh, are uh, traveling in the economics class or the business class or what is the age of that people. If you remember, we draw this uh, good, uh, this subplot, uh, we have, we draw this one in the last video. So let's move forward in today's video. Now, my interest is to know, okay, I know how many male, how many male, 49.3% uh, are the male and 50.7% are the females in my data site. I want to know how much are, how much males and how much females are satisfied, are, uh, are meeting the level of satisfaction or are not meeting the level of uh, satisfaction. Like uh, how much loyal customer are satisfied and uh, how much they are dissatisfied and uh, what what about that what about the business class people how much they are satisfying so we going to do the we going to do this uh, visualization based on our the target level about the satisfaction level so again i'm going to use the seaborn library i'm again going to plot the some count uh, count plot some list plot something like that and uh, because already we create some setup for our visualization so this video will not take that much time and we're going to analyze the satisfaction level based on the gender then based on the class then based on the type of travel, based on the customer type. So uh, I, because I'm going to again analyze the four things in uh, one hand, so I'm going to you create like this only kind of a dashboard. So better what to do? Just uh, for the base, uh, copy for the first axis and copy from here, and I just paste here. So I'm I'm uh, analyzing now in place of profile satisfaction level, satisfaction level weight is a bold, font size 24. Uh, font name is the moon space okay so grid is uh, again will gonna be same it's two rows two column and how we add uh, it is again the uh, same how we add the first subplot is again going to gonna be same now based on the title you can add gender satisfaction level or or more generally you can say gender distribution i'm not going to draw the pie chart so let's remove from here so i'm going to draw the count plot sns dot count plot it's very easy to plot you have to be specify what is your x my x is a gf uh, df uh, gender df gender and what is my hue now what is a hue so what is a hue we have to go first here and search the sns dot count plot okay c dot count plot we first go to the documentation page and uh, and uh, read about here so it's need the data we need the x and y and the hue so hue is here in what base you want to be plot your count plot okay i want to be plot based on the satisfaction level so my hue is here satisfaction level it will it will it will highlight how much people are satisfied how much people are because it's the binary classification problem so it generally will break okay this much male are satisfied and this much females are the uh, not uh, dis, are dissatisfied then you have the different parameter here you can uh, check the orient you want vertically or you want the horizontally what the color what the palette you want to give, give here and uh, what the x axis what the axis you want to give here this is very important okay so same thing we are going to implement in our case study so you i am going to give the satisfaction so here is my df satisfaction and i going to plot this on the uh, first uh, on the first plot so ax not and uh, and at the end let's see how it will be coming so ax0 is not defined because I have to give here ax1 its typo and see this is this is what I, I, I am explaining you this makes more sense compared to simply analyze how many males and how many females are participating better to analyze how much males are satisfied and how much females are satisfied in your data so this is about the gender distribution but again the curve is not look fancy the curve is not look good i need to make some perfect uh, uh, data visualization which speaks to me in place okay i'm searching how much males are uh, dissatisfied i'm seeing okay this is the approximation no i do not want this one i want something beautiful this should come in my visualization so if you remember the bar bar plot uh, in the first figure we discussed this is the bar plot whatever the steps if uh, we we discuss here we're going to be implement in that chart and make it make it a good visualization now first thing first 
the colors the target colors i'm going to put because my satisfaction is my target i have the target color because i have a binary classification problem so what i'm going to do i'm going to change this kind of a color which come default you have to give here palette and this should be the your target color and let's see yeah this is what satisfy are the green and neutral already satisfy are kind of uh, this maroon color okay but it's still i want to need i want to see the number so it should become here and uh, for that i i told in the first video when i draw this simple bar chart that we have the two method one we can write the code we can use the annotation otherwise we can use the bar height and then we plot that is come in the patches so let's uh, show you here the patches uh, method so for so for p in ax1 dot patches now what is the patches again you have to be go here and you have to be search ax1 dot patches in c1 so this is the documentation if you are new you have to be go and read a little bit about it because you should know what you are doing so a patch is a 2d artist with a face color and a age color if any of the age and face color uh, are none they default to their rc parameter setting so this you can go and little bit read about it if you are interested so it's help us to it help us to do the annotate of that number and let's back to our project okay so for p in x1 dot patches i'm going to use ax1 dot annotate then uh, so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to be print that number so this is go as up to the first decimal dot uh, format to uh, get the height so p dot get height get height is the function it will measure the how much height of that bar where we where we need to write our text that what we are uh, writing here so p dot get height and how much big it should be font size is 20 okay this is this is what we want okay so little bit adjust it little bit axis adjust it that is up to you how much you want to adjust it so it's uh, okay and little bit increase the height as well by adding the 50 okay it's look quite good and uh, once i have this number okay 28686 are the male who are not satisfy or i can say neutral dissatisfy whereas the 22491 are the satisfy people but see at the first starting i'm predicting okay it is near about the 29 but it should be it is a 28686 okay so this is the, so so this is the benefit uh, to do this kind of a uh, this kind of uh, the editing in your curve to make it more good now when i have this number why i want this curve why i want this uh, y lab y axis and uh, let's uh, remove this border as well because then it will look good so what i'm going to do here after this x1 dot get y axis not came automatically get y axis dot set visible is false okay and then remove all the border so for spin in ax1 dot spin uh, spins dot uh, values because it is a dictionary and i want a spin dot set visible false okay this look good and uh, now i want to increase this x tick so to increase the x ticks level what we know what we're going to give the we're going to give the tick parameters and we're going to give the x is equal to x and this label size should be 15 let's see okay so this size is increased now it's very easy to increase the gender you can give the ax1 dot set x label ax1 dot set x label and you can give here the gender because we are analyzing gender and we can give the font size as well font size is little bit more increase so let's 20 okay so this is uh, so this is our analysis and uh, and and uh, okay so let's uh, keep this one here now let's add the three more plots with the help of this one so what we are going to do we i'm going to copy this one whatever i did here and uh, that that's the reason and you can use uh, here generalized method as well 
but we are not writing here so i can do the class distribution i can give here the class and i have to change the axis so firstly i'm increasing i am changing the axis here so you have to add its uh, grid size as well otherwise it will throw an error it will like now and uh, okay let's see okay now this one you it need to little bit adjust uh, so 0 0.05 i can give here and now it's perfectly fine so this is the class distribution i have similarly i can do for the axis 3 and axis 4 as well for axis 3 just change uh, grid size first thing then change in place of 2 is 3 okay so travel distribution is the personal traveler showing the very last number of the people are satisfied whereas the business travel are people are who are more satisfied people so this is the, the so this is the benefit to do the analysis based on the hue and the hue parameter see we can see easily even you see the business class in the people are more satisfied even the travel so the business travel people are more satisfied and it, the who's traveling in the business class are more satisfied compared to the who's traveling in the economics class see in the economic class who the ratio even you can see the bar height you can see is making a huge difference okay so the last fourth axis we going to uh, we, we need to add here so what i'm going to do similar uh, same exercise i'm going to repeat okay so last is my customer distribution so loyal customer are dissatisfied more compared to satisfied but not that much uh, uh, the ratio and disloyal customers anyhow are dissatisfied okay so this is our uh, another um, uh, kind of uh, dashboard of the passenger satisfaction level i hope you enjoy the video this is pretty simple pretty simple because we did already the analysis of that uh, of the passenger profile okay i hope you like the video if you like the video then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel but before ending this video my question is that the way we are doing the visualization is the correct way or we have some another way as well yes we have some alternative way but we will discuss at the end of the video whatever the visualization curve we are using here we will be make it uh, generalized and i will share with you so in the next uh, kind of uh, data science projects we will we will use it we will use them to to do the faster analysis because next again and again we no need to repeat okay so one more thing here that uh, almost the categorical futures uh, categorical uh, futures whatever we have we already completed here so in the next video i will show you how you can analyze the numerical future like the check-in service so people are so people are giving here the uh, I, I hear people are giving the um, data which is a type of your uh, ordinal form because people are giving here the rating like you give the swiggy boy you give the rating very good good bad very bad so here people are giving one two three four five so we will be first map this kind of a number to a dictionary we like excellent very good good bad according to us and then we do the analysis and we do the parallel analysis of the one of the one data set of sorry of the one data variable as well as how it vary based on the uh, on the target on the satisfaction level but that one i will be show you in the next video so please keep watching the video and support the channel thanks and have a good luck bye bye